Hi guys, it's Olga Hedwein here and today really special guy visited me on this channel. It's my son. He wants to be a YouTuber in the future. So it's really good spot for him and honestly he's not camera shy at all. I was really surprised how uh, cool he was with everything. So first uh, thing that we will do because we have two really easy, two really fast Christmas projects for you. Uh, first one are fake cookies. So we roll uh, a dough. We're using the air drying one. It can be also play dough. It's just any kind of clay. Uh, when it's nice and flat uh, with versamark and some stamps, we're making impressions in our uh, clay and we cutting it off with our cookie cutters. Uh, and you want to prepare a bunch and all the clay that we prepared we just uh, we just have like big bowl and we wanted to use it all so we 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 have really nice amount of those cookies and making them all took us like 25 maybe 30 minutes um, and they look really cool and i think that they will be really nice uh, embellishment uh, during our Christmas Eve dinner. You can make them also as the gifts for your siblings. Um, each year we, my son preparing some gifts for everyone because Santa is coming only for kids. So uh, for adults, uh, kids or other adults have to make some gifts. So uh, some of the cookies we made uh, in a little bit more advanced style. Uh, first we pressed some impressions and then we placed some glass uh, flat back cabochon beads inside. You just need to use a really sharp knife and uh, it's it's the mama's job to <laughs> cut off the hole and then you're just placing your uh, glass bead inside and clay will shrink a little bit when it's drying so it will hold the cabochon in place. When they dry and on a heater they dry really fast, we just uh, fix the edges with nail filler and then we painting them. We use 30 knots liquid medium and 30 knots shiny powder in shade rusty brown I believe. It was the closest one to real gingerbread. First we cover our cookie with a little bit of uh, mixture of powder and uh, medium and then with the same brush we brush a little bit of shiny powder on top. It will give just a better uh, finished look. And all you have to do is just add strings to our fake gingerbread. For the ones that have the glass uh, piece inside, we added uh, some beads. Mm, it happened uh, that we had some uh, plastic chandelier uh, ornaments, so we just uh, add them hanging there and our fake cookies are ready. <laughs> and you can use them also as the window decoration, especially if they have those uh, beads inside and there is another idea to color the beads with uh, some alcohol ink then you will have a like stained glass effect uh, so uh, all our finished cookies you can see right now on the screen my favorite one is the snowflake with the chandelier uh, dangling over there and my son happens to yes. like the most the heart shape one with a little bit uh, inside the dolly so uh, we have our favorites that will stay with us and all the others we will give to some grandmas and i'm sure that they will be happy with those uh, tiny gifts so it's the first part um fake gingerbreads and they look a little bit golden in, uh, with the fairy Christmas lights so really decorative piece uh, to add to your Christmas tree. For the second project we 
chose our favorite uh, way to make a rosette so you can use them also as the party decor uh, not only during the winter you can spray paint them and uh, they are really fast to make it's like five minute craft we need uh, seven uh, breakfast bags they made from deli paper uh, and we need seven of them for each star we stick them together you connect just the bottom part and the middle part of each bag and to glue it we use regular uh, school, glue, school glue the one that kids have uh, uh, at school it's really convenient to use and it will not uh, wave your deli paper so much if you use it um, gently and it's kid safe so yay <laughs> So we just stack our bags one on top of uh, the other and uh, you just need to be careful to uh, almost precisely match the bottom parts of the bags because if you will go uh, really cricket over the, the middle of your star will look not so nice. When they all uh, stack together you can make some decorative die cuts on the edges. I made some hearts and triangles and Eric went with totally freestyle um, with his star. Anyway, we're making some decorative die cuts and then we just add a little bit of glue at the middle part and it's my favorite part, it's the reveal. And with the first one we had a little boo-boo, we forgot about one bag, so it didn't connect uh, so, uh, so nicely. You can see the gap over there, but we will fix it. Um, this glue will catch almost immediately, so you don't have to uh, hold it uh, too long. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he was, uh, you know, gently su suggested that you should leave thumbs up <laughs> under this video. So as the finishing touch, you can add a little bit gl glitter and you are ready to go. Okay, guys, so thank you uh, for your attention. It was me, Olga Heldwein and Eric. Yeah, and... With today's video, we want to wish you, you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.